Now, we British are known around the world for many things, whether it be our love for a good cup of tea, our stiff upper lip in the face of adversity, or it would seem our use of the humble umbrella. Well, at the Groundlings Theatre in Portsmouth, a festival of performance, art and music celebrated the life of the man credited with the popularisation of this nifty invention. We British love talking about the weather, and our summertime wouldn't be complete without the occasional shower. And when the heavens open, many of us will gladly grab a brolly to help keep us dry. But did you know it was a man born in Portsmouth that first led the way with this pop-up protection? Well, the, the birth of madness is to celebrate the man who invented the umbrella. Uh, his name was Jonas Hamway. He was born uh, 300 years ago in um, 1712 on the 12th of August, uh, right here where we stood pretty much. Uh, there used to be a house here and uh, he was the man who invented the, the, the brolly. He invented the mechanism that makes it open and close like so and he also made it waterproof. He took the idea from parasols that he saw in um, his adventures while he was travelling the Middle East. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't take off uh, in his lifetime. In fact, people even threw bricks at him and uh, ridiculed him for carrying uh, his roof around with him, is what they said. So it was only until Queen Victoria herself actually uh, took it on that she actually um, then popularised it and made it um, what it is today. The annual Umbrella Festival is a combination of music and performance, with many local curiosities thrown in. But in all the years the festival's been held, it's never actually rained on the day. No, so it's seven years now that we've done it, which is ironic because um, it's normally absolutely blistering hot. Yeah, it seems to be a tradition now that every time the Umbrella Festival's on, it's um, always sunny and never rains. Uh, so you've just seen the pantomime dame uh, who's uh, doing the rounds. Also, you might see Aladdin here uh, who'll be performing in the pantomime Aladdin uh, later this uh, December. Um, we also have uh, kids who are performing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh, Oliver, um, they're also doing King and I and loads of other shows. There's live acts, there's lots of music, not just from the Pompey Pluckers, but from Drum Nation and lots of other individual musicians as well. There's loads of art and craft stalls and uh, there's even a colouring in competition and a treasure hunt. And this year's festival coincided with the Port Sea Carnival. So we teamed up with um, Peg uh, North and South as well. Uh, so it makes it a really nice big event right the way across uh, the whole of Port Sea. So it's bringing all the different artists together. It's great for them because they make new contacts, and um, but it's also great for the audience to get to experience lots of different uh, styles of art. It's lovely just talking to people as well, and, and um, lots of people have already started to say they want to volunteer at the theatre, uh, to take part, um, and things like that. And it's just lovely to talk to the audience on a more individual level, uh, perhaps than we get a chance at shows and things like that. I mean, that's the whole idea of why the theatre's here and, and everything else. It's, it's is to give the local community and beyond um, uh, to really heighten the arts and also to, to give them opportunities they wouldn't normally have. And that's the wonderful thing about Groundlings is that there's so many amazing opportunities that we get. Um, uh, different directors that come down from London, even celebrities that come here, and they just wouldn't get a chance to, to, to have those skills, talk to them, or um, to learn from real top experts as well. So it's really important that this kind of work is continued, really. So again, it's celebrating Port, Port Sea history as well and um, the diversity that you know was around here at the time and the amazing sort of um, uh, history that you know took place in this part of the city. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.